It goes without saying that I'm a cool guy. But to keep me cool, I've been looking for some fans, and I think I may have found them. Hello, I'm Dave from Dino PC, and these are the ML120s from Corsair. So ignore this on the side here, this is just computer porn, our brand new Raptor. Um, I'm trying to convince our boss to use it for our brand new streaming site on Twitch, which will be coming very soon, I know that you guys are looking forward to that. But today, we're talking about these, the ML120s. So why is everybody making a big deal out of these? Well, these are ML fans. ML stands for Magnetic Levitation, which we shorten to Maglev. And what is the big deal about Maglev? Well, it's quite simple really. These were first being shown at Computex 2016, where our good man Silas uh, got to go and not actually see them because he didn't have time. But we've now got them here, so we can have a look at them now. Maglev fans, and these ones in particular, use a special magnetic bearing, which you'll be able to see on screen here. And basically what that does is it means that the, the connection point of the fan never touches the bearing, which means you have almost zero, and I mean zero, almost very close to being zero friction which is great, because friction is bad. Why is friction bad? Well, the more that things rub together, especially as they continuously rub together, the more that things are gonna be quicker to wear out, make noise, and we, we don't like friction. We wish that everything was frictionless. Then we could slip and slide across the floor all day long and it would be super fun. So maglev is very beneficial in a number of ways. Uh, first way being is that, in theory, you do get slightly less noise from your fans. Although in practice, you're not gonna notice particularly too much difference in the noise level of your fans. The other thing is, of course, you have longevity. Whereas a normal fan can last between anywhere of 100,000 to 150,000 hours of working, these bad boys say that you can get around 200,000 hours of working time, which is absolutely incredible. So these bad boys range from a speed of between 400 and 2,400 RPM, that's revolutions per minute, which is the amount that they spin, which is obviously very slow and indeed extremely fast, which is very nice. Static pressure of 0.2 to 4.2 millimeters H2O. And no, I don't know what that means, but you can definitely go and look it up on Google and I'm sure that it will tell you. A sound level between 16 and 37 decibels. That's whisper quiet. The fans have a super low startup speed of 400 RPM, as mentioned before, at about 16 decibels. To put that into perspective, ambient noise is between anywhere between 18 and 24 decibels, so it's extremely quiet. Quieter than the surrounding room that you're in, most likely, unless you're in some super, super duper quiet room with lots of sound dampening. Which I, I, I'm guessing at home you're probably not. They're going to be able to keep your system cool pretty much like any other fans. Not much innovation has been going on here. The blade design, for example, is the same as the previous gen. The real catcher here is, of course, the improved reliability. I mean, you're getting nearly twice the longevity compared to some of the other fans on the market, which is just fantastic. You also get a warranty of five years, and it runs at 0.219 amps, which is a lot less than your average fan. It's worth mentioning here that maglev fans have been around for a fair number of years now. However, Corsair seem to have this rather annoying but fairly consistent result where they tend to make things better. So, are they better? Well, you're going to have to find out if you want to buy them. And buying them is going to be a small problem because, unfortunately, of course, new tech comes at a price, and that price is very hefty, £22 a pop, $30 if you're in the US of A. And there are some things that are missing. For example, Inwin's new fans. They have a daisy chain method, which they have brought up recently, which we thought here at DynaPC was fantastic. Silas, what do you think of them? Great. There you go. <laughs> We wish that everybody would start daisy chaining their fans, and that's probably where things are going to be going, but these don't include it, which kind of sucks considering the price. These are also the base models. You don't get any of the rubber isolation mounts on these either. It's plastic, which is obviously going to increase noise because as the fan goes round, it's going to be vibrating slightly, and that vibration is going to cause the fans to vibrate very slightly, you get that little zzz noise. There are pro versions of these, which do come with LEDs, if you so wish, and of course they come with those rubber mounts, but again, you're going to be paying more for the pro versions, and these are the standard ones. 
Overall, I quite like these fans. I think they're fantastic. And <laughs> overall, I like these fans. They are fantastic, pun intended. But there are some things missing. The daisy chaining, the rubber mounts. I think Corsair can do a little bit better. But overall, I love the innovation. I love the maglev. And of course, I'm sure you guys will as well. Thank you very much for watching the video. And we'll see you guys next time. Please do rub together. The more things are going to be quicker to wear out, make noise, and we, we don't like friction. We wish that everything was frictionless. Then we could slip and slide across the floor all day long and it would be super fun. <laughs> okay. It might go in the video then. <laughs> to the video! To the editing suite! And now the best thing about it is, is I actually have a blooper. Yeah! show everybody else the thieves as well. Coming soon to Dino PC as soon as Silas can be bothered. Oh, how epic are these? These are our um, mouse mats that you desperately want. Look at that, you want that in your life, don't you? Very reasonable price actually. I think they're going to be selling for like a tenner. So, and they're pretty damn big. So if you want some guys, then let us know in the comments below and all that sort of jazz. This is the end of the video. Pick up here. I think it's up there? Yeah, it's up there. Click up there. If you want to see more videos from us. I don't know what's going to be going up there. Have a look at our million stars subscriber video. That's pretty fun. What's that? It's right there. Click it. No. Give a link in the description. Do it. Do it. I want to see it. <sighs> well, coffee.